When looking at the request response cycle or the Rails communication process, we need three parts. One is a controller, and next is a route, and then a view. So first, we'll start creating a controller. Rails generate controller page. Or you should use the capital letter for the, page, uh, for the controller name. So this is a command used to create a controller, rails generate controller and your controller name. I'm going to create this as a pages. So I'm click return. After Rails generate uh, finish running in the code editor or in your cloud ID, open the app controller and here is your page controller.rb is created. Within this class, we should add home method. The home method is the index method of the web page. It should indent properly in Ruby. Save that. And I explain this what's happening a little bit later. And I explain this what's happening here a little bit later. So, so far now, we created a controller and a controller action. The, what are the methods inside the controller are called as the action. We created a new controller called pages over here. The rails generate controller pages command generated a new controller named pages. This created file named app slash controller slash pages dot rb inside the new pages we added a method called def home which is an action methods in rails controller are also referred as controller actions so here we added home action to the pages controller so far we have created a controller let's move on to the next part of the communication process cycle and let's create a route so to create a route we go to the config and routes.rb I'm going to clear all this lines commented lines that's just a comment so I'm going to type get Welcome pages slash home action. I'm going to save this. So basically, we have just created a, a welcome and pages home action. So when we run now. A project nothing will happen and when we type slash home it will throw us an error because there is no route matches for home because uh, now that when a user Until so now, we just created a, a path in the route.rb. We go over to a link and type slash welcome. 
here is the template is missing we have created a route and we have created a controller but we have not yet created the view so let's start to create a view in our page so to create a view we are going to go to the apps views And inside of the pages we should create a new file called home dot dot html dot erp and create that I'm going to change this to erp if Unfortunately, there is no <coughs> ERB text editor in Cloud9. So let's start creating our first the content. So I'm going to create a, uh, a div, a division tag. And then I'm going to type in the h1 tag just like hello welcome to ruby on rails things are going well until now save this and now when we reload this we'll get the text that we have typed over here just like this hello welcome to the ruby on rails things are going well so according to the communication process we have created a route we have set the path to the route and we have created the view and then we have created the controller so when the user hit the request it will go and check the routes.rb and check the path of this route and then it will go to the controller and controller goes to the action which is we typed as a home and in that home action there is a view page and also it sent back to the controller and it will display in the browser so this is the process the communication process that we, are, we should learn at very first in Ruby on Rails